My name is Tony Tiger, and it is my pleasure today to speak about the new exhibition uh, at the Seminole Nation Museum in Wewoka, Oklahoma. The museum is uh, doing a wonderful job working with indigenous artists in the, in the community. And um, this exhibition is titled Muskogee Voices, and it uh, incorporates the works of contemporary artists um, in the areas. And um, so I'd just like to take a little bit of time to, um, to talk about my work a little bit and, um, and how I got started. And uh, I believe everybody uh, is good at something. And uh, we only take the need to take the time and invest maybe a little bit of time and effort to really figure out who what that is. And for me, it was, uh, it was sports, and, but it was also the arts. That even started in high school. I had some excellent high school art teachers and, uh, and some, some, really, some really good and, uh, and wonderful mentors in college. Um, I had the opportunity to go and um, earn a degree at Oklahoma State and had some wonderful uh, professors there. And uh, then I finished up with my master's degree at OU and uh, Mary Jo Watson, who was also seminal, was a director there at the, at the School of Art. And, uh, and I just had a wonderful time learning and, um, and realizing what I could do um, with the education that I received. And then also the collaboration uh, efforts that I was able to, um, to work with other artists and, uh, and also curators in museums uh, like this one that we're speaking in today. Um, so today um, I want to talk a little bit about uh, this new piece and I've just delivered this piece. And, um, and so it's a large painting on panel, acrylic paint on panel, and it's titled uh, Time and Place. So this particular style of painting that I'm, uh, that I'm doing right now, uh, it, it's really about identity and who I am as an, a contemporary indigenous person. And um, so if you're from Oklahoma, you're probably not just one tribe, but you're multiple tribes. And, uh, and so I am as well. And so I do have Muscogee blood, I'm Muscogee Creek um, and Seminole, and then I'm also at Sac and Fox. Um, and so in this particular piece, what I've done is taking tribal designs and, uh, and superimpose them on top of each other. And then I begin to paint them um, in a very particular way. And, it, and it, uh, it's somewhat time, uh, time consuming and sometimes even confusing. And it can take a long time to finish a painting like this because you're, you're, you're painting colors next to each other and it all has to work. And then the entire uh, painting has to work for the artist. And, um, and so this paste, painting has taken quite a long time. Um, and so we have uh, seminal patchwork designs overlaid by um, a woodland design. And, um, and so we have these diamond shapes at the top. We have these dragonflies towards the top. And then we have these rain patterns that we have the four directional cross coming th through the lower portion. And then this new design that I've incorporated that I, um, that I liken to the Muscogee people. And, uh, and it represents men and women in community. I really like the ideas of incorporating what I see in nature into my work. And then also where I've traveled because the piece is titled Time and Place. And so everywhere I travel and uh, in, the, in, the, in the times that I travel, whether it's seasonal or even maybe years, years ago, I, uh, I like to think about those things, reflect on those things and incorporate those into the pieces that I'm creating. Um, but, uh, but it's really speaking about the, the identity of who I am as an individual and, uh, and my, um, my indigenous heritage. So I, I really just want to take this time to, to thank the, uh, the museum for allowing us to come in and uh, to be a part of their 2020 um, uh, exhibition uh, series. And uh, thank you very much.